Hello everyone, welcome to this video, here I am using GNU Linux, but you may replicate most of my steps on your Windows PC. Here on my desktop, I have a crack me, as it is a console based crack me, I will need terminal to open it. Like any other typical crack me, it asks to enter an authentication key, and if it is wrong, it says access denied, otherwise it says access granted, our task is to find the valid password or patch the program to get the access granted out. Today we are going to use an open source tool made publicly available by NSA itself, you must have guessed it already, Ghidra. So open up your browser and search for Ghidra. Click on this link. Click on this button. And click on latest version. Here you may find this installation guide and other stuff. Down here you will get a zip file which is 333 MB in size, download it. After you will extract that downloaded file, you will get this in extracted folder. If you are on Windows, run this. Bat file, as I am on Linux, I will run this shell script, form the terminal. Ok, so that being said, now we will create a new folder to save our project, I will just create a folder over here on desktop, but you guys can keep your folders as organized as you want. Now I will click on file, new project, and just follow these steps. After you are done, just drag the crack me into the project which you created, Ghidra will then make basic analysis about origin and type of file and some other things, it will also show you compiler used to compile that program, possible language in which it was made and few other basic things. Click OK. This green button is code browser, we are gonna use it now, just drag your program and leave it on code browser. Otherwise you could just double click on the crack me and it will open code browser. It will say crack me is not analyzed, we do want to analyze it now, so click analyze, and keep default settings and go ahead let it analyze. Now after analysis is completed, you will find assembly structure here in middle. On your right will be a decompiler's output tab and a few other tabs, which you can see have disassembled our crack me. In the symbol list tab, you will find a button called functions, and in it you will find main function. You can even search for main function down here. If you don't find main function, try to find entry point. So here in the decompiler tab, you are seeing the main function. You can have a look at the code and try to understand it, see, there is a main function which does not take any parameter, so there's void written in bracket, you might see some familiar strings, like authenticate yourself, and whatever, so you might know this, but in C++ we type this in beginning. This IO stream means input and output stream library, which is a combo of input stream or I stream, and output stream or O stream. And in the decompiled section you can see basic O stream and I stream. So these are libraries used to take inputs and give out outputs in programs. C out is console out and it prints stuff on console. After that you can see this C in which means console input. Actually, you gotta learn C language to understand these things, these are really very basic things. So input is stored in this variable named local C. And you can see local C as an integer, so we get to know that our password is a number. Let's note it. Let's change name of local C for simplicity of reading. As you can see, an integer named password and declared, later an input is taken and stored in the variable password. And then this variable is passed further into another function named check it. As you can see here check it is a function, so if we will double click on check it, we can view it. So check it is given one parameter, which is our entered password.
So here this parameter is actually the password which we will enter. So I will rename it as user answer. So here's a if statement, if our input is completely divisible by 3, and it is greater than 9999, and also divisible by 7, then we will get correct password, otherwise it will be an incorrect password. You can even see that correct or incorrect jump in the assembly structure. So let's note these things. If divisible by 3 and also divisible by 7 and greater than 9999. That's what it is. If everything satisfies, it goes to this another function call matrix, and maybe it will do a final trick for entering correct password. And here you may see, as matrix does not receive any parameter, it's shown as void, like the main function which we saw before. Okay, so that's how we decompiled this crack. Now let's save this project and enter the correct password in crack. Hey I am gonna use a calculator, I don't think you will mind me using a calculator. Answer should be 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by anything, and bigger than 9999. Let's see if 21000 is the answer. Yeah, it worked. Now let's see 105 000 is correct. Yes it is. Actually this crack me has infinite number of correct answers, they just have to match the conditions. That's all for today, thanks for watching guys, I know that I took very long to post a new video this time, it's like 7 months has passed since last video about cracking, but I was not sure, you know, code looks bad and boring in front of camera, and also, making audio voiceovers is not easy at all. So anyways, goodbye, thanks for being here. The crack me was made to be cracked, and we had full permission to crack it. No need to restrict this video YouTube, we ourselves are creator of this crack me. Viewers, don't try this knowledge for something illegal, we do not take any responsibility of your deeds, this is only for educational purpose, nothing else. And a final goodbye.